On the 19th of January 2008, it was a day that we'll never forget. There was a, a hole dug in the garden there for a soak pit, and uh, there was some water in it, but we seen the little green knitted cap that he would be wearing normally, and it was floating around on top of the water. James was the most adorable, beautiful little child that you could just imagine. His blue eyes, his blonde hair, he was the hardiest little man that you could ever lay your eyes on. James was a special child in that he had a great way of connecting with people. He was lovable, he had a kind of a mischievous smile so he could get his way around you and wrap you around his little finger. So when the word came that he'd been taken so untimely from us, the whole, the whole community was devastated. I got down into the water and felt around. I'd say I'd take up and down three or four times because the water was that cold. Um, fully convinced he wasn't in. I said I'd go down one more turn just to be certain. And whatever way my hand just turned, I caught his jumper and I brought him up, handed him to Daddy, and panic started then. We knew in our heart we, we couldn't see any way out for James. We arrived into the hospital and they had, had him laid out in a bed. Lovely flowers and tie shapes of ties and the blankets and the quilts and that was just lying there. You may be vigilant at all times now on a farm. All our little lads used to come out and used to feed calves and, and it, was, it was great but we didn't see the danger. An accident happens in a split second. People have to be aware of what's left behind. The knock-on effect to a family like is immeasurable. A farmyard is not a playground. 